Okay, it's Tuesday the 20th of October, about a quarter till three in the afternoon. Hopefully this will be the last of our little experimentation videos. But you can see what we've done. We purchased a, a gas can from Walmart with kind of goofy lid on it. Uh, but I drilled a hole uh, 0.38 inches big in the bottom of the gas can and then inserted this fuel quick disconnect fitting which is 0 0.40 uh, inches so I didn't even have to put any epoxy on there that's uh, just going to to uh, seal itself and now we've got gravity feed <clears throat> excuse me once I plug this fuel line into that connector we'll have gravity feed going to our generator but before we do that I need to modify my fuel cap I need to take out the old marine uh, quick disconnect and put in this nipple that used to hold the 0.33 uh, inch cracking pressure uh, valve and then I'll connect uh, this nipple directly to the fuel line and we'll have gravity feed coming into the uh, vent cap and uh, well that's a misnomer because the cap no longer has a vent in it it seeks its vent back up through the external tank okay so there you have it the uh, small nipple has the cap on it so that uh, we definitely don't have any vent coming through the cap the long nipple has a little yellow handled uh, clamp on top of that going to our fuel line which has the quick disconnect on the other end that's going to go into our fuel tank and as you can see the uh, fuel level is right up to the the uh, bottom of the neck of the filler cap there. okay it's the moment of truth we're going to plug in the fuel line to the bottom of the uh, fuel can and see if we start feeding fuel down to the generator well it was just like they advertised it uh, was no spill I was able to just plug the fuel line right into the uh, female fitting with uh, without a single spill and I think I might have to do something about this little S turn in the line here to get it to go over the top and start going down into the generator well that probably would have been easier to have handled by just cutting the hose and making it a little bit shorter but uh, we just got out an extra toolbox and sat it up there and that seems to be going pretty good. Let's give it a load here. Hey, you heard the generator speed up to accommodate the load. So uh, we've got a full generator and about uh, one gallon. The fuel, fuel level is right about on the one gallon line on the tank. So it's uh, 3 o'clock on the 20th, 1,500 hours. We'll let it run and see what we get. Well, it was making me just a little bit nervous to have that little bit of an S turn in there so I went and got my box of uh, golf balls to sit the tank up on top and uh, so it's definitely a vertical drop all the way down no S traps or anything and right now the generator appears to be running smoothly with our fuel level coming up in the hose to about there and uh, it's bubbling which is telling me that it's uh, venting okay so it's about 430 now generator's been running about an hour and a half or so and uh, you can see the fuel level in the uh, tube is all the way up to the uh, fitting on the tank. And every, oh, four or five seconds, a big uh, air bubble comes out of the uh, cap on the generator and makes its way up to the uh, tank there. So I'm pretty sure that uh, we are venting the fuel that is being burned out of the internal tank as it burns. All right, it is Wednesday the 21st of October, which happens to be my buddy uh, Dan Bauer's birthday. So happy birthday, Dan, and I guess your birthday present to me was that uh, we had a totally successful test here. The uh, <clears throat> external fuel can ran all of its fuel that it could get to there. There might be just a little uh, minor layer on the on the bottom that couldn't get into the spout to run out. But uh, we burned all of the fuel out of the external tank and uh, it gravity fed down into our generator and completely uh, ran all of the fuel out of the internal tank of the generator. So we have a completely successful test. It turns out that while it's uh, awfully difficult to make fuel siphon out of uh, an external tank into a generator, uh, it's really pretty simple to make it uh, gravity feed. 